Hey there, it's Chef Katie. Thanks for joining me in the kitchen. Today we are talking about guava. What? Yes, guava. It's a tropical fruit. Comes from the same area of the world as pineapple, banana, mango. Beautiful stuff. And we don't see these a lot in the fresh form. We usually see canned guava, guava jelly, guava jam, guava juice. But when you can get them whole, they are amazing. Now, how do you pick a ripe guava? Well, the easiest way is think about blushing. Your little guavas, you want them to be blushing. So you see this guy, he's got some red on him. He's so sweet, he's so ready to go. He's a little shy. He's blushing and he is ready to be eaten. And if your guava is not blushing, it's just like ripening a mango or some bananas. You leave it on the counter for a day or two. When it's ready, you can eat it or put it in your refrigerator and that'll stop the ripening. So once he's ripe, oh, he should have a nice sweet smell, almost like honeydew meets banana. It's really nice. All right, we got our ripe guavas. Now, what do we do with them? I'll show you. Now that we have our ripe guavas, how do we eat these guys? Well, it's it's pretty basic it's like any other fruit really <laughs> so you don't want to eat the end obviously that is not going to taste good and then I also cut off the other tip just to get that brown part out there it's not pretty stand them up straight and I just like to slice them beautiful just like that and dig in and you can eat the whole thing there's little seeds in here but you can eat all that that's fine the peel is edible if you don't like the peel you can always just use a peeler or use a knife and peel that off I've got my little guava slices and these guys they taste like it's almost like banana meets canned pear that sort of soft mushy gushy texture with a little bit of sweetness but not too much not like a super ripe banana nice and mellow this is delicious i'm gonna go eat some more guava guava rules because plants rule this is chef katie i will see you next time thanks